today's video, I'm going to be making this crossbow out of a 2x6, which is the stock that I found in the trash like a couple years ago, and some 3 quarter inch PVC pipe that I got from some landscaper people that were done with it and didn't want it anymore. So I pretty much made this thing for free, minus the paint, the stain, the string, and a couple stuff. But it's really cool, and so um, let's get into the video. Also, if you'd like to build one of these crossbows for yourself, I have the templates and instructions and the files for 3D printing the trigger system all for sale in one package on my Etsy store for pretty cheap. So if you're interested in making one of these, follow along with this video as much as you can, read the instructions, and pay for the templates, and you'll get something that looks like this. Okay, so here's the shape that I've got now. I still need to cut out these little holes that go in it. This is for tying the prod onto the stock. Um, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna drill some holes and then cut out from there. And then, um, yeah, I think if I can figure out someone that has a planer, I'm gonna try to make it a little thinner because I feel like it's quite thick. But yeah, let's get going on that. After a bunch of sanding and carving and filing and stuff, I have, I guess this set looks better. Uh, those aren't cut out yet, but they will be. I didn't want to cut them out yet if this isn't even going to work. And then I drilled out and filed out the thing for the trigger system, which does work, which is nice. I hope, my only concern is if that ledge there is going to be enough to hold the string in. So if it isn't, then oof. Um, and then I drilled and cut out this thing so that you can uh, lash the prod to the stock, which I'm going to do now with one of my normal bows so I can test it without having a high poundage. So I'm gonna do that. This is test shot one of this crossbow that I just made with the 3D printed trigger system with my own design, the stock of my own design, and the prod of my own design. Oh, can't wait to have a stir up.
pretty good. Okay, so I just made this stirrup out of PVC pipe for the crossbow, and to do it, I pretty much just looked, since I've made a crappy crossbow before, I just did the same thing where I went to the Backyard Bowyer's YouTube channel, which is top notch, um, and then in one, in, oh, he has a set of videos where he makes a 100 pound medieval style PVC crossbow, and I just used his stir up for it and I think that'll work great so if you want a stir up do that you should want a stir up though because it's nice so now let's finish up the crossbow
Okay, so here's the prod, all f with its metal finish and everything on it. Polyurethane dirt told the finish more than last time, which is kind of sad, but it still looks good. But to try and make it so that this part doesn't get damaged and so it fits into the stock and doesn't like rotate or slide around anymore, I am going to put electrical tape on the, I guess, handle section. It's not really a handle, but it's kind of a handle. But I'm just going to put electrical tape right here. So let's do that. Okay, so this project turned out pretty dang well, if I do say so myself. And again, if you want to make one of these crossbows for yourself, I have the templates, the instructions, and the STL file for 3D printing this trigger system, all for sale on my Etsy store. And that link will be in the description if you'd like to make one of these yourself. It's not, they're not very expensive, and you'll end up with a cool crossbow that you can pretty much get for free if you do it right. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. Leave a comment on what you want me to make next or your video suggestions. And like the video, buy the templates. It helps a lot. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.